I'm Josh. I'm Gabe. From Balanced Body Rehab. What many people don't realize is that they walk asymmetrically. Whenever we're walking, sometimes our pelvis or our trunk might rotate one way or another, our body might shift one way or another. Thousands of repetitions of that cause many different conditions. We treat those conditions at our office, but there's one condition that we see commonly. And that condition is a lot of people have a pattern in which they drop the right side of their rib cage down and their pelvis tends to rotate to the left, to face to the left, which then causes that person to destabilize in their pelvis, their abs turn off on this side. So we teach a corrective technique to help stabilize the pelvis with walking and then correct uh, those impairments that are leading to their condition. So Gabe, let's demonstrate. So Gabe's turning around here. You notice he has a couple dots on his buttocks there so we can better see what's going on in his pelvis. When people are walking, go ahead and walk here, Gabe, they tend to twist too much to the left and they swing their left arm more to match the right leg coming around more. So it's a right arm or a left arm drive and a right leg that are swinging too much, causing the pelvis to rotate to the left. That causes then their right leg to turn out in compensation, their left one to turn in in compensation, and there's a number of muscle reactions that occur from that. So to correct it, well, all we, have to, all we ask patients to do really is to find their left abdominals. So I'm gonna ask Gabe this time to find his left abdominals here and just act like somebody, act like somebody just hit him in the belly right here and he says, oh, and he just finds that more like a 10% contraction to hold the left rib cage down so his right rib cage won't fall down anymore, which should create more stability here. So he's just gonna squeeze that a little bit as he's walking. And that's gonna change up his mechanics. The only other thing we teach people here too is then to roll off the big toe. Let your foot land in whatever way, uh, but I want you to hold this here and roll off the right big toe because that's usually a part of the components that are missing there. So Gabe, let's try that again. He's gonna hold his left rib cage down and then roll off his right big toe. And then here you see a more symmetrical walking pattern. And then come on back, Gabe. Excellent. At home, the way you can try to know whether, you can't see this on yourself, obviously, but you can hear it. When you hear somebody walking asymmetrically, they'll have an asymmetrical walking sound. A symmetrical walking pattern has a sound of bump, 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 like you just heard with Gabe, but an asymmetrical walking sound is gonna be ba bump, ba bump, ba bump. That means you're doing something on one side rather than another. And because we see this pattern so commonly, it might be this exact pattern. So if you can work on holding your left rib cage down, activating your abdominals, that may correct it for you. And don't forget to roll off the right big toe. You can roll off both, but just a focus of rolling off your right big toe, because commonly people in this pattern are on the outside of the right foot, which causes a number of different conditions. So hope this information helps.